Hi guys, and welcome back to episode five of the Raid series. In the previous episode, we had a little bit of an episode of death, but we still got some sort of progression, which is important to show. In this episode, what I wanna do is go back into streets and get some more money, get some more items, start building up a bit of a, a base of uh, stuff that we need for the high so we can start crafting the Salua's. And then also, if we can, get some Iskras, so then we can go into woods and drop them off. So without further ado, Let's crack straight into it. All right, so in the previous episode, we did die a lot. I think we died like five times, uh, but it was four or five times, but it was okay because we still went up like two levels. Uh, but we did go through a fair bit of our currency and we still want to get uh, some sort of aggression happening in this episode. So what I would like to say is like, you, you can still die a lot in Tarkov, but still get a lot of stuff done. Um, so that's why I say you always set small objectives, like get a US set kill or, you know, drop off an item for a quest or whatever. So this is the quest that's gonna be the most annoying. Now I know in the previous episode, we had issues with frame rate on uh, woods. And uh, I've tried to fix that. I don't know if it's gonna be better, but if we do go back to Woods, I'm hoping it's gonna be better. Um, the other thing is uh, I've we've had issues with uh, the audio sync a little bit too, and I've, we've been working on making it better. Hopefully it won't be noticeable. The problem we've got with some of this stuff that's been going on is um, the fact that uh, I'm, I'm recording on an older PC that wasn't originally set up for um, the RAID series, and I'm working on that computer right now as our main computer is used for the live stream, which is our subathon that's happening. So I'm in a different room with another computer filming this series. So anyway, enough about that. Let's uh, let's get moving. So uh, I've been reading a lot of your comments too. A lot of people saying that they wish they could run streets, but they can't because their PC and all these other reasons. Totally understand. Streets is not optimized very well at all. And uh, hopefully at least you can get some sort of fix um, from me playing streets and then you get to explore it through me. Uh, let's go chop some of the stuff off here. Cause we don't want to like lose our items, for, uh, our insurance items. Uh, do we have anything else we can grab? Jaeger. I might even use that AK to be honest. Let's gonna go through each of our traders, make sure we don't lose anything. Cool. Now, as for dailies, uh, I'm filming a couple of hours earlier than yesterday, which is this one. So we're not gonna be able to get to do our dailies today um, unless we go into factory to get that 1600 XP, but it's not something I wanna have as a priority today. Now that AKM MSN, that was what I was telling you about how you could put a PSO side on it, which is this side here. Problem with that is it's good for like bigger maps, not for, um, not for streets. So I'm gonna put this side on and a copper shade. Now it's gonna take a little while for people to learn what sights go on what guns, um, but pretty much the N at the end makes it so it works. So it's like an uh, AK-74N or AKF MSN or something like that. Generally you can put one of these side mounts on. Uh, it's, it's gonna be one of those things that's gonna take you time. But that's it there. Now I'm not gonna take in the, take in the biggest uh, rig that we got. This is PSM, that's really good for us. And the reason why I'm not gonna take in the biggest rig because um, I feel like we don't need to for starters. There's some contacts. And then as for heels, we just want a heavy blade. I can chuck a normal splint in. And the rest of the heels will be sorted here. I'll leave that keychain because it's actually good to farm some filing cabinets in this episode. And I think that'll probably be about it. Um, yeah. Let's get into our first raid. I need to repair that helmet. We do have that scav run up, so we can do that later. And streets, afternoon. It should. Let's go. All right, to the streets. Arrive along. All right, let's break it house. So we've got Expo, which is the one we uh, survived at on the second. And really, kill much sure we can't do, what we have to do, but um, yeah. We'll be right. All right, so. We wanna get 
a spark plug. So the first thing we could work towards is getting a... Hey, sir, can you please walk through that doorway? A uh, spark plug. Yeah, the first, yeah, we want to get uh, generates. We need a spark plug. So filing cabinets. Hello? Oop, I'll get shot in the back here. Okay, so, so obviously that guy was just doing some sort of money run, so I wanted to try and kill him, but it's okay, we missed. I thought it, we need to get Usex and, and dog tag, so. All right, so farming keys, nice. We've got two different types of cabin keys. Uh, so they're for customs, and what uh, one of them does is for the, it's a key need for request. But we don't actually, uh, you usually get it for the quest, like the quest gives you the key. And the other one is another room that has um, three jackets in there, so. Pretty ordinary keys. So we need to get this stuff right now. This is probably the, the money makers. These are all very ordinary, but I'm picking them up and holding onto them because they uh, sell for stuff and I got nothing in there already. Wow, we got really ripped off for that. Not gonna loot that. So following hands are gonna be our, our uh, place to get a spark plug or in the Tentacles of black rates. So we'll work towards that. Also finding iskers would be nice too. I don't think the guy looted this. When he ran past. Now the following cabinet in here. And we're also looking for those lures. There, we got it. Cool, so that was the major one we needed from filing cabinets. Uh, it's still worth looting every filing cabinet we can because of the um, keys and the loot you can get inside there. Gonna go up here. Now, usually here we'll have about three scabs to worry about. We don't want to go there. It's this room. Leap plies are good early on too. Uh, kind of want to. <sighs> kind of want to escape now. Hello? Who's shooting at us? Oh, 
was known for, though. Ah, so this is what we want, this rig here. So you did a quick drop. Now to put a rig on straight away without having to like uh, drag it, just hold Alt and left click. Uh, left click. Now I've been reading a lot of the comments and there's not a lot of comments saying this, but it, I did notice it a couple of times. It's like, it's sometimes I'm skimming over things that newer players really don't understand. Like what's the difference between a normal bleed and a heavy bleed and all that. I do try to explain as much as I can, but at the same time, it's it's quite difficult to get every little thing and I need to keep the episode moving, you know, like, so I do apologize for that. And I also read a lot of comments about um, how you guys can't run streets. Uh, it is pretty much the best map in the game for making money and loot and finding certain loots because it's just so much loot in there. And there's just so much uh, ways to avoid players. So, um, I will not just do streets. I want to do all the other maps too. I really want it so it's not lagging on other maps. So that's uh, something I'm going to try and work towards once we get into the studio. We're moving to the studio in eight days. So uh, sorry, about eight episodes time. We should be filming in a new location. And then once I'm there, it should be a lot better. I hope, at least. All right, so food crates is what we're going to be going for right now for those Iskras. We know the other guy kind of went behind us. There's a lot of random loot right now. We're gonna eat that one. Another really good map for food crates is reserve. And they definitely use the map we could go. All right, so we're gonna start heading towards our extract now. I'm not gonna go down the main road. That's a bit, a little bit crazy. I'm gonna go through the supermarket over here and Pinewood, which you've been to Pinewood a few times. That we can check for Salua's there. And also um, there's the food. So we might have to get an Iskra. And we can go through the cafe. Le cafe? La cafe. Someone's been here? Maybe? Pineapple juice. So you'll learn what foods are good over time, but pineapple juice, um, it, it hydrates you and then has energy over time, which is actually like a really handy one to have. So I drink every pineapple juice I find. And it also makes things taste better, I've been told. This is Pinewood. Now I don't ever suggest really running up a main road unless you're Giga Chad ready to kill everyone. And what you can do is stuff like this as well if you want to like Some extra space.
Make some extra money. This looks looted. Normally there's food on these shelves. Like, be nothing on any of these shelves. So there's a good chance that player ran through here. Half a make here. Yeah. There's a guy in Pinewood at the moment. I think I'm just going to go to Dental and avoid that plow. He was running right to left down that road. Pretty much just explain well, just what I said. If you want to avoid planes, don't, don't go down the main road. We're going to follow the lures. Like that. First one, we will get rid of um, probably the cigarettes. We still need two more. In the meantime, I really need to clean up this so he's out, that whiskey is actually worth a little bit of money, but we also want to. We're on the uh, crafting the hideout kind of stuff, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that and just make it so we can get actually stuff that we need for the hideout. Here's the rip stops going as well. I'm gonna reload my mangas this as well. Let's go up here. One dead. We can hide ourselves a little bit by going under here. I extract this over this way. Now, I haven't done a lot of exploring in this building here. It's probably the least explored area that I've done. So maybe next raid, if we can get a spawn near it. We'll go check it out over there. I've done a fair bit of this area. But yeah, this one. My least explored section of the map. A cheeky gander on the way through, eh? Oh, med bag. Our extract on the left here. I don't want to get shot in the back. Please don't shoot me. Okay. 
Well, run down to the raid so far. We pretty much spawned in where, right next to the, like the factory zone of it. And uh, we heard that player run past. I shot at him. Didn't get him, unfortunately. He, uh, we, we looted up most of that area. But got a heap of stuff. So what we're going to do with all this stuff, we're going to chuck it straight into our scab jump box. And then once we uh, do that... Uh, sorry, um, but yeah, we looted up the factory zone, got a heap of barter trade items. Most of that stuff I'm literally just going to put in there for the uh, hot upgrades. It's one of those things that we don't have to worry about in the future. If we have some extra stuff now, just saves us some money um, having to find it or buy it on the flea. And in worst case, we just sell it on the flea later on. Uh, what else? So we, did, we got through the factory zone and then we went through pretty much Pinewood area uh, on the way out. So nothing, we didn't go anywhere too crazy. Killed a snob scab on the way out. Got a little bit of XP, 2700. Uh, all adds up. The more supplies you get, the more XP you get. You get, you get 1.3 times XP for surviving. So it's worth trying to survive as much as possible. If we uh, really wanted to like blow some cash right now, factory would be the place to do it. I think we'll probably end up uh, filming the last read of this episode in there just to try and get some of those modes and kills. We're not going to try and force it straight through like I have done in previous episodes and then just died heaps. So I'm going to check all these barter trade items inside the scab junk box. See the rest space is ready for construction. I think if we have a little bit more cash, it'll say that the generator is ready for construction as well. I think you need 100K. We will have that in a minute. I'll make sure of it. All right, so sell the rag, man. There's the generator. Let me put some fuel in there. I'm gonna turn that off for now. Rest space, instruct that one. Med station is constructed, so now all we need is uh, two first aid kits, car first aid kits. The barter trade for that is humpbacks. So if we can get two humpbacks, that, that's that done. And then we can make uh, saluas pretty much. So time to keep an eye out for some humpback. Probably gonna sell that there. I'm gonna keep these foods because it's used for making the holy deal with it, which is uh, the fridge container for food. MREs are needed for requests, so we'll hold on to them. Tashonga's needed for requests, so we'll hold on to them. Uh, same with these ones. Sell, 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 sell. All right, let's sell all that. So that strike can be sold. As for these keys, Every one of these can be sold. Oh, 50 BMG is actually not bad for a, for, uh, a slug. All right, so for now, I'm just gonna sell all that stuff. So we go therapist. Hey, we keep the water. I'm gonna drop that off. Cool, that's 78K. Uh, that apartment key is pointless. This one can be used. It's not a huge one, but it can be used all right. Uh, that should go in there. Adrenal oil to sell. Cool. It's gonna take a little while for you guys to learn what you can and can't, like what you should and shouldn't keep. It's just one of those things that does take a little bit of time, but. Pretty much like eventually the idea is to learn what you need for quests and what you don't and then sell what you don't need for quests or what you what there's some items you'll make a lot more money selling on the flea so um now sometimes you won't be able to sell a gun so for example this svd we're not going to use because it's just not going to be worthwhile but we have to repair the gun to sell it on the flea 
So, just something to take note of. Um, so these two here, are just to sell it, sorry, not to the fleet, on the trader. So, now we have a bit more space. Um, I probably will never use that Keter as well, actually. Keter is a really good gun to learn early for leg meta, but I don't like going for legs. It's uh, It takes too long to kill people, pretty much. That's the, the short of it, it takes too long to kill people. One of the things we I do want to work towards, I think it's a Peacekeeper level two is uh, the beta container. So I wouldn't mind getting us the next container up as soon as we can as well, which means we need to get like level level 12 and then uh, money spent on Peacekeeper. So the way that this the leveling works, so this is your level, so it's level 14 now. This is your level, this is your rep, this is how much money you've either bought or, sp uh, or sold to him. So <clears throat> what I do, just for Peacekeeper, so this is 854, I would buy dollars, all right? So 857. I would only buy the US dollars from him. I wouldn't sell anything to him unless it's like an item specifically good for selling to him like that sash drive was. So I would buy US dollars. So I'll pretty much buy 10,000 US dollars. It sounds crazy, which is like a million and a half rubles, right? But I'll, I'll do it that way. So then I've got, um, Heaps of money to buy UMPs and other items that you're gonna definitely need to buy. Plus there's also a quest, Friend from the West Part 2, that requires you to hand over $6,000 to him. So you're kinda of getting two stones with the one bird there. Now, um, I'm gonna do a scav run now because I wanna try and get more money. I'm gonna scav in a factory and uh, get as much money as we can and then that way if I die in the next raid that we might be able to get a scav run in the end or Potentially, uh, even if it's a long, it's a long ride, we can sneak one in at the end as well. All right, we are in. So it's already had seven minutes past because the factory is a 20 minute raid and it's down to uh, 10 and a half minutes. So we can technically leave now if we wanted to without being a run through. So it's just something to take note of. The dead, the dead player right there. So we might be able to try and sneak some loot from him. Got a bigger bag at least, so we'll take that. So these guys are looting all the stuff that it's pretty typical for people to loot. I'm gonna try and... This is crawling with scavs. Look at them all. Wouldn't want to be a player in here, that's for sure. I'm going to check this corner. I haven't seen many like player bodies, so. Oh, all the doors are closed, though. Doesn't mean they're not there. I'll check these jackets while we're here. Cool, that's a good one. They sell for about three hundred fifty dollars to uh, Peacekeeper, and some more cigarettes. Now you need five Strike Wilson and Malboro cigarettes for Peacekeeper, and then after that you don't really need cigarettes at all. There's a couple of barter trades that you can do, but it's not a priority. Like you pretty much don't pick up cigarettes after that point. And that's why I was kind of dropping cigarettes as we were going before. Why didn't that gun pick up? It's a brand new AK-74M, so we'll probably actually hold on to that one because that's not bad. Or not bad at all. Cool. So we'll keep that and pretty much everything else we'll get rid of. All the players are pretty much dead by that point, so. Um, when you do have a bit more stash space, you kind of just have it all click across like this is when you're trying to min-max like selling efficiency. And uh, you'd have it all come into the top of the actual inventory section. So we actually really do, do need to focus on getting car extract. So there's a map with a car extract. We should always check it 
until we do at least three on that map. It gives 0.4 rep for the first one, 0.2 for the second, and 0.15 for the third. So three on each map. So if you even if, say we did it on streets three times, it's like 0.4, makes it 0 0.6, 0 0.75 rep with fence. So we'd go up another 0.75 with fence. So we'd be at 1.5 almost. <clears throat> I'm at like three point, actually I'm at four rep now, but around three, I was getting lab key cards quite often, which is like one of the, uh, as an access card to one of the best maps in the game for loot. And also, uh, I knew we always get like a class four armor for free. So it's it's definitely worth doing it as early on as possible. Uh, if you get this bug where they don't show up, just go to buy and then sell again. What I might do here, I'm pretty sure that suppressor will just go straight on. So we go bam, bam. Ha ah, look at us. If we really want to go to the next stage up, we go like this. And now we can put a foregrip on if we find one. And and lasers. So slowly modding out our guns too now, hey? Eh? Um, now we could have used the cell function to fence then, but now another thing you've got to get used to is switching between traders at the top. I'm still not used to it. Uh, it's just a force of habit how long I've been playing this game, but you will get used to it. Space bar is the quick sell button. All right, and then there's that back of Siggies. So, I'm gonna go back in the streets. Uh, we got one of the Salures, which is great. And um, hopefully we can keep this roll happening. Uh, we'll take that two, chuck that on zero. And yeah, we still need two more PMC kills and we need to find some PMC dog tags. We need to check any PMC we see dead on a scav run. We need to see if they've got a dog tag on them because uh, we can hand in other people's dog tags as long as they're found in raid. So in the streets, once again, we're going to ensure that. Let's go. All right, we are in. What's in the new area? Now we must find food to survive. So this is, that's pine wood. I'm just sorry, I was just, my brain was just very, like, considering what, that's the co-op extract that we took. I've explored this before. Kind of feel like the back rooms are better off looting than the front. Maybe we should just go across the pine wood to the uh, dental and see if we get any saloons in there. Seeing it's just here. As I'm running, I'm just trying to look over my shoulder to look up the top of the building that we just came from to see if there's any snipe scabs up there. So they spawn on the rooftop of there. Oops. All right, so this is dental. We'll check for meds first, then we'll check the filing cabinet. We have looked at this building a lot since we uh, started filming the raid episode. I should really explore someone else, somewhere else for you, but it's a nice little spot for, for meds. Uh, whoops, this one. All right, so our extracts are, someone's already taking the car out. Uh, crash site, collapse crane. We don't have the thing for kill my straight. Oh, logistics, that's a good key. It's uh, not, not a key needed for... It's not a money-making key. Um, but it's 
uh, a quest tech. So it saves us having to buy one. There is a butter trade for it, but one less thing to worry about. I really would like to get those uh, Iskras for that quest. This, uh, this raid. I feel like there's a barter trade for Iskras as well. Maybe syringes? So now you do a drop method. Probe it all nice. Put that on there. That so that works as a heals you one health every second. We'll go through the food areas. Is there a plow? Was let's get him. What are you doing, boy? Huh? What are you doing, boy? Oh, we're just running around trying to do sausage first. Daddy, would you like some sausage? What was that? I'll give you my sausage. I don't know what you're saying. You're Now I feel bad killing him. What's your name? I feel like once you, once you learn someone's name, they generally don't be as much as a joke to you. So what's your name? Your name is Kylie? Are you friendly or what? Oh, we would want to be, but I don't want you to come into the same room as us. So you, we're friendly unless I go in there? Um, if you pull out your knives, yeah. I'll pull out my knife. Oh, you, you you don't need to pull out your knife, sir. Okay, well, sorry, I'm going to go across the road, okay? So, you say goodbye then? Goodbye. Fair travels, sir. Hey, not everyone in Tarkov's a bad person. You did kill this scav, though. Seriously, actually, I, I want to answer, ask this question. Do you want to see me just shoot everyone on site? Do you want me to banter with people? Do you want me to troll people? Like, what What do you guys want to see more of? Like, I'm happy to do it all. I, I, I enjoy... To be completely honest, I enjoy talking to people more than I do and trying to get be friendly with people more than I do, like, throwing down all the time. Sometimes I'm in the mood to shoot people, you know, like us all. But, like... Sometimes you have really funny interactions, like Steve in the last episode. So, I, I would like to hear your thoughts. I do, I, I am honestly reading a lot of the comments. Hello? It's too dead place, it's scabs here. Yo, hey man, I'm not gonna kill you. Oh my god, are you just hiding there? Oh my god! Yeah, my bad, sorry didn't mean to give you a heart attack. I just saw two dead bodies and then... All right, so you're gonna, not going to shoot me? No, nah, no, nah, man, you're all good. That was... This map is actually a shit show. Hey, do you know where you're going? Uh, I'm trying to get to the med room at uh, the Pinewood Hotel. I'm still trying to find Buddy Salewas. Oh, I literally just came from there. There's none there. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'll... Sorry, mate. Thanks, man. Let's see. That was. <laughs> it's a duke. 
How do you get that bird? So yeah. He was like... Oh my god. Alright, so... This guy killed everyone. I just want to see what ammo is in this. If it's good ammo, we'll keep it. Alright, instead of going... Oh, but there are the food crates over there. Okay, instead of going to those food crates, I'm going to go to a totally different area of the map. Um... I think we went there in episode two, but it's a good spot to find food in that. Everyone's talking. Hello? Hello there. Excuse me, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you. You PMC or scared, man? Oh, I'm PMC. Are you PMC? Oh, we're going to do co op strike, man. Oh, can I come, please? No idea. I can show you. I can show you. I'll get my knife out. I'm happy to get my knife out. Can I come up? Hello, guys. Hello. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I've got my knife. Don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. Just around the corner. Oh, That's I'm just down the hallway. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear I've got my knife out. Yeah, I know. Do you want me to take you to the extract? Oh, I can show you where the extract is. Hey, oh, you're PMC. Yeah. Um, do you know where Pinewood is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's across the road. Follow me. We, we gotta go to... The co-op extract. Our posse. We got a full posse. This is awesome. We're sorry. We, we just killed one of your friends. He wasn't very nice either. Anyway. No, nah, he was one of the ducks. Come inside here. Inside here. I one tapped him. See that? Yeah, just one bullet. All I needed. Owned him. Shit. Enemy sniper. All right, just down here. Let's go. Yeah, man. How you going, girls? Yeah, the man. The XP is gonna be great. <laughs> we did it. Why can't I 
on my main account. I can never find a friendly scav on, on street. Is there another 0.13 rep there? Can never find a friendly scav. So we got 0.13 rep from going out that extra 2800 XP. Unfortunately, we didn't get any uh, Salua's or Iskra's, but we had some funny experiences. We talked to some people. It was a bit of fun, a bit of fun. Let's, uh, we didn't really move far either. We crossed the road and that was about it. That gets us to level 12, actually. I wonder if in the next episode, I'd be able to get level 15. It'd be a bit of effort. Let's heal up. All right, so this line is actually really huge. So there's a uh, barter trade from Therapist. Uh, from, it must be Therapist level two, uh, which to get Therapist level two, all we need to do is get a little bit of rep and uh, so in other words, hand over Salewas and uh, get level 13. So we need to hand over these Salewas. There's the first one. Hand over two more and then we'll be laughing. Uh, Oh, because we hit level 12. More, more quests. We could do this shoreline one. Shoreline's a lovely place. All right, so let's put all this stuff in here. Uh, cola we want, sugar we'll sell. So I'm gonna repair this to sell. Yeah, what ammo do we have? HP is no good. Proximal cell. I kind of know what's got some sort of value for us. So we can hold on to that. This shotgun's actually not bad. We'll hold on to that. Sugar's really a force of habit later on in the wipe. Uh, and once you have flea market, sugar sells for heaps because it's used to make moonshine, but early wipe, it, it has no value. So I actually, on my main account, stockpile sugar. I actually have a lot of it. I'm already up to like probably 40 sugar, um, but I'll wait like two, three weeks and that 40 sugar will go from 10 to 15,000 rubles each to probably 30 to 60, somewhere in that bracket. Uh, all the log logistics is actually a good key for us. So it's good that we got that one. I don't know why we've got this sitting there. Cool, so. And we can sell this one too for a bit of money. So, for money, that one. Then we go to therapist, sell those. Then we go to mechanic, sell those. Go to peacekeeper. This is the order I sell. So it goes ragman, therapist, mechanic, peacekeeper. And then anything else, Jaeger. That should pretty much cover it. The only thing that might be missing from that is grenades go to Prepper, that's pretty much going to get you through everything. Uh, we'll feel we need for a quest later. That's pretty much everything. It would be nice to eventually move all this stuff out of the way. We don't need those mags if we don't have any more M4s. We can always buy more if we want them. I'm really not a big fan of the uh, of the MP5. I'll put all this ammo over here. Bit of a stash tidy up for the weekend, hey? I saw some comments saying, that's tidying up his stash reminds me of Bob Ross doing a painting. <laughs> uh. So, I haven't watched Bob Ross in ages. If you guys have ever seen the documentary on Netflix about Bob Ross and the, uh, and the people that like took his rights after he passed away, whew, it makes it really hard for you to want to watch Bob Ross anymore, not because of him as a person, but because like you know you're giving them money by watching it and them getting revenue from it. It's just, oh, it just makes me, makes my skin crawl. All right, so that is all that some meds over there and now we've got a little bit of spot to dump stuff at the end of each trade so that's nice all right scav run into factory let's see if we can grab um what do we need dog tags so we'll check all the dead bodies for dog tags and then if we can get the salua that's going to be a massive one but i don't think we will and 
they'll be the main things I think we'll find. Cool. We can use this motor for one of our quests. Ooh, early enough that we might actually find some dead pimps here still. With tags that haven't been looted. Five, six. Or maybe even a PMC to kill. I'm gonna check this way because just generally area that you'll find PMCs. I also want to make note of about that previous raid is it's also quite important to just take the wins when you can. Like we could have stayed in there and done more. But that was already a dub. We had loot. We were gonna we we're gonna get the uh bonus item from fence, we're gonna get rep from taking the co-op extract. Like, take the dubs when you can. That'd be a, probably the lesson of the episode. Maybe I should start the lesson of the episode. Take the dubs when you can. Bit of money in this one. These are actually self a heap of the flea right now, like 50k. I'm gonna switch to the shotgun. I feel like I'll be able to get more damage in. I'm going back. Heard metal. He's looking. He's looking at me. Are you a scav? It looks like a PMC to me. There was a scaffold around with the pilgrim as well. <laughs> Missed. I hit him in the arm. Or the PMC. <sighs> oh well. GG's. I did some damage. Oh, look at that. 269 damage all to the armor. So I must have just hit him. He count. I only shot the one shot with the uh with the shotgun. All eight pellets hit him and they all hit him in the armor. Wow, square in the chest. This is a great example of uh penetration and, and damage. So Shotgun pellets have very low pen, but they have high damage. So if they didn't all hit him in the armor, then yeah, that would have, they had a very good chance of like either immobilizing him or killing him. Um, obviously, a player has 430 health, and they've got to like go to zero health to die or lose their head or thorax. But with this one, it's like uh, what was I gonna say? It's uh, if if this had a bit more pen, all that would have gone through the chest and killed him. So, good little lesson in, uh, if I knew that he had good armor on, I should have gone for the leg or arms, but, hmm, it's a good shot. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We have one last thing to do before we, we head off is get our bonus item from Fence. He gave us, ooh, three items, what is it? Ah, oh, right, this is not a bad re reserve key. Carl. So yeah, um, it's not a great key actually, that's the office. It should, I'm pretty sure that's the, we want KPRL, but still got some contacts, so that's gonna be useful. Uh, horses are good for us to do a barter trade to get a docs case, and a key's a key. Like a natural key that we can use, so that's a win. But yeah, we are set up ready for the next uh, raid, but we will do that on tomorrow, which will be on Monday for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you guys learned something, please, uh, 
Write in the comments down below and like for the YouTube algorithm. If you have any friends new to Tarkov or just you know think they might get some enjoyment out of this, please share this series with them. Uh, it takes a lot of time and effort to film and edit and prep it all for you guys. So really do appreciate the guys that have been sharing it out. And um, have a safe and wonderful weekend because I'll see you on Monday. So lastly, I'll see you next time.